Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. It is Wednesday. That means we're going to take a look ahead at tonight and tomorrow's weekend league rewards period during this foot miss promotion and talk about some Thursday flipping investments you guys might be able to make this week for foot miss and on FIFA Ultimate Team. Now, Thursday flipping is a, co a common and popular investing method that we do often. Uh, it originated last year with the uh, timing of weekend league rewards being early morning UK. And basically what happens is a lot of people on this market, on this game, open up their weekend league rewards and they get coins, they get their um, players from their teams and they go out and they build squads for the weekend league. That is the premise of um, Thursday flipping and weekend league rewards flipping, just so you kind of can wrap your heads around that if maybe you're a little bit new to it. Uh, and basically what we do is we take a look at a lot of things on the market, uh, especially during this foot miss pro promo. I'm going to talk a lot about the SBCs that are currently out in this game and how these SBCs and how many people have done these this week, how that impacts Thursday flipping. And of course, talking about Thursday flipping trends and stuff that I've seen this year uh, that has worked really well. One thing we always do is we start off by looking at the potential team of the week because I'm recording this before the team of the week comes out. Um, and I, the reason why I record this early is because uh, I just want to get this thinking in your guys' minds, right? You, I want you to be prepared for the Wednesday night time period before rewards, which is when we usually buy or end up looking at a lot of these things. So we usually take a look at this team of the week uh, prediction graphic from Patrick at SimpleBlue88 on Twitter. This is looking like a the possibility for a fantastic team of the week. We've got Salah, Mbappe, Coutinho, uh, De Bruyne, Courtois. I mean, a lot of solid cards in there. I would say that, you know, I don't imagine that we would get all of these guys in a team of the week. Vertonghen, I mean, if they put out this team of the week, I would suspect that we would get team of the week SBCs coming over the Christmas period, like the end of Footmas. Uh, this is a team of the week that to me just says... Uh, team of the week SBC. You have a lot of 81s in there as well. So if, if this is similar to how the team of the week ends up being, um, I could see a team of the week SBC. But the reason why we look at this team of the week is for link investments, right? Because a lot of people will get these cards as reds. And uh, if they get them as reds, they're probably going to build a team around them, right? So we kind of try to look for cards that are like in the 83 to 87 range that are more common on reds um, that people might just try to go out and, and use regardless of... Um, uh, to get in their teams. Obviously, not a lot of people are going to get Mbappe, Salah, De Bruyne, Courtois, maybe. Coutinho could have a really nice card. Um, so we'll see what happens there. But I mean, this week's team of the week, I see a lot of high end and a lot of low end type cards. Like Trippier is okay, but he has a scream. Gervinho, kind of hard to link. We just got Footmas, Douglas Costa. And there's, a, again, there are really a lot of high tier guys that are really solid, like big names. But not a lot of guys that are going to be in that middle range for Team of the Week. So when Team of the Week does come out and you actually see it, there might be some link investments that we can look at according to what does come out in Team of the Week. But I want to talk about the past couple Thursday flippings and what I've done that has worked and talk you guys through a few cards and some uh, scenarios that I could see playing out this week with Thursday flipping. Now, last week we were at the end of the Team of the Group Stage promo and there was a lot of people that were like, yo, Thursday flipping is not going to work. Team of the group stage uh, card, their pack weight is too high. I don't think Thursday flipping is going to actually work this week. Well, it actually did in certain areas. Uh, last week, what I did, I flipped a lot of low tier informs, right? So, you know, some people that have the big budgets, um, they can worry about the, the team of the group stage cards and whatever is coming in the next promo. Um, but a lot of people on the smaller budgets, we're talking 500K and under, um, they are kind of, they just kind of build teams every week, right? The more, maybe it's a more the casual user base, I guess you could say. Um, they are kind of building their teams every week and, you know, buying new cards, trying things out. This is a card that I flipped last week, right? I'm, when I'm looking at informs today and stuff to flip from Wednesday into Thursday, the stuff that did the best last week was kind of like the 50K to 200K price range informs and even out of packs gold cards. We're going to talk about that today too. Uh, this was a card that did very well for me last week. Um, and you're going to hear me talk about this today multiple times in the video. When you're Thursday flipping this week, um, I'm going to honestly say don't go for just normal cards. Go for cards with Shadow or Hunter Chem Styles. If you're looking at uh, like a certain card and wherever somebody's going to play it, get the chem style that fits most whether it's a shadow a hunter maybe an anchor uh, maybe a catalyst like one or a hawk M more of the expensive chem styles um Koulibaly is another one there's just all these cards last week with my Saul's, right i flipped that inform Saul last week 
and um, I bought Saul's at 47 45 to 47 K and I sold the ones with shadows for 60 K to 65 K and I sold the ones that didn't have shadows only from like 55 to 57 K so there were some it was a massive amount of profit to be made and I got way better guaranteed sells on some of the cards that had shadows, right? Because people are looking to buy the cards with the chemistry styles. Um, and I wanna talk about some of the stuff this week. This card right here is a card that interests me a lot. We have the Mal Malquit SBC that came earlier this week and this card when that SBC came out with a shadow was about 80,000 coins. Uh, without a shadow, he's about 65K. That's a 15,000 coin difference in price between what the regular card goes for and what the card with the shadow goes for. And that just tells me that a lot of people want this card with a shadow and they're willing to pay the big bucks for it. Uh, so this is a card that I kind of want to watch this week. Road to the Final Allen's card is a lot cheaper because of the whole Champions League draw. He got the upgrade and the market is just low to begin with. And of course, we have the Malquid SBC that came out. A lot of people did that. And a lot of people are going to link that triangle with Allen, Malquit, and Koulibaly. So I'm a fan of this Koulibaly this week for rewards. I know that he does have the Team of the Year nominee version, and we're going to talk about these cards in a bit as well. Um, but there are definitely some cards this week that I think are going to be really good flips on a lower level budget. Another one that I have here is Samato. The cards that you want to focus on week in and week out are just going to be the ones like your tried and true weekend league flips uh, that are going to be in that low budget, especially what we're looking at this week. Um, but just those guys are going to get into a lot of teams. A lot of people run Usman Dembele. A lot of people still have Scream PK in their teams or, you know, one of the new special cards for Ramos or Varane um, or, you know, like the Varane inform that we that we got and the Ramos special cards. Um, a lot of people have the back lines that include Barcelona players, Madrid, basically La Liga, right? So I'm a huge fan of this Nelson Semedo card again. Uh, for a lot of these prices, I mean, Nelson Semedo, if you see him under 110K, I mean, I think that's an easy sell at 120 plus this weekend, especially with a shadow. A card like this is going to be very, very flippable into the coming days, into after weekend league rewards. He's 125K right now, the shadow. If you can pick him up for less than like 120 like 115 ish with that shadow chem style at some point in the next day or so um i definitely think you can get a sale at like 135 or even maybe 140 if you get lucky after the weekend league rewards last week i bought this card at 125k with a shadow sold it for 150 with a shadow so there's definitely the chem style trading again i can't stress that enough the chemistry style ch trading with thursday flips is honestly it's huge it's massive uh, and it's a great way to add on some extra coins on top of what you're trying to flip and what you're trying to sell. Now, I talked about some informs. Those are kind of like the same things every week, right? We look at the same informs, the ones that are meta, the ones that people use. Again, the chem styles are very important. So you can look around Footbin, look for low prices on those, but try to stay in that 50K to 200K range on those informs, just because that's the stuff that has been doing good on weekend league rewards as of now. And I don't really know if the whole market's gonna push up on Thursday after this rewards. I still think people are kind of in a state of like, what is going on with the market? Like what's happening? But I do think the lower tier market is definitely has a place to push up. So speaking of the rest of the market though, team of the year nominee cards are still gonna be in packs. And it's kind of the same situation that we had last week with uh, team of the group stage cards, right? Those cards, I mean, people wanted to get them for the weekend league teams and the weekend league rewards came out and these cards got killed in price. I'm talking team of the group stages from last week. Team of the group stages got killed in price because they were getting packed left, right, and center because of their pack weight. Again, this week for rewards, these cards are going to get packed a ton because their pack weight's really high. I'm going to take that one and relist it for like 115 or so because he can sell there. Make a little bit of profit. Nice, nice. But uh, these cards are going to get packed a ton during rewards. So if you have these cards in your team, I would highly recommend getting liquid of them and honestly selling them, taking the coins for whatever they are and wait and see what happens with rewards. These cards are very popular and they're going to get put into people's teams, but they're going to get packed a lot. So I'm kind of scared to mess with these until they actually go out of packs. So rewards on Thursday could be the low point for these cards before they go out of packs. I'm not entirely sure if I want to invest in them on Thursday after rewards. We will see because I'm unsure of what's coming on Friday with the prime icons and new icon swaps and stuff. Uh, so we'll definitely see about that. But I would say that watch these cards during rewards. They could drop. But since these cards are 
um, in packs right now, that makes for some very interesting situations on the market with normal gold cards. Like this Sterling right here, this card has been out of packs for two weeks. Literally, he's been out of packs for two freaking weeks. Raheem Sterling, who links to the newly informed right back Wambi Saka, who also links to the Marcus Rashford SBC that came this week. This card, I mean, it's out of packs right now and it's dropping 62K for Sterling. The whole market is dropping, it makes sense. Last week I bought these Sterlings for around 74 to 75K average and I sold, I think I bought eight of them and I sold them for 90K, 87 to 90K after rewards. Now I think this is another great opportunity to flip a card like this this week. So look at some of the out of packs uh, gold cards. You know what? I'm going to pick that one up for 60. Never mind. Look at some of the out of packs golds, right? Maybe a guy like Sergio Ramos. I know that's kind of getting on the upper echelon of our price range that we've been talking about. How much is this card? I, I don't check this card out too much. 90K? All right. I was close with my initial initial, initial search. He's somewhere around the 85,000 coin mark, actually. And this card is out of packs right now, man. This card is out of packs. He's got a special version that is in packs with the team of the year nominee. Uh, but this card has gone down a lot of price and he's out of packs. So I think the out of packs golds, the OP usable meta weekend league out of packs informs scream cards and even maybe some road to the finals. Again, we, we talk about out of pack stuff every week, but I do think the golds have a specific opportunity this week to rise up a little bit because right now, if you look at Sergio Ramos, let's look at him as an, an as an example on footbin, right? Let's go over here and take a look at his card. We haven't gone to Footbin at all today. What is a video without Footbin, right? We got to look at those. So right now, Ramos's special card, the Team of the Year nominee is 162,000 coins, and the gold card is 80K. So it's basically half of that, right? Let's say this card get pa gets packed a bunch during rewards, goes down to like 140-ish, 140. -ish, 140. I, c I couldn't see him going much lower than that. He's got this other card at 171. So let's say this card goes down to 140 or so. Um, this card still being at 80k, I think is still a buy. I could easily see this card being 100,000 coins. Literally, this upgrade's only plus one. You're paying the big bucks for the dynamic image is what you're paying for. Uh, but again, this gold card is down in price a decent amount, even though he's out of packs. Like, look at this, 109k out of packs, drops down to 90 or 88,000 coins. He's actually 80k right now, dropping by the day. So, you know, I usually say wait to buy for weekly rewards investing until after Wednesday's content, just in case we get an SBC. Uh, but this is a very interesting situation as it looks right now. You know, 80,000 coins for Ramos is cheap. We'll look at Sterling in as well. And what you can do is you can kind of look at through some of these on your own. There's many, many options out there that you can look at. Basically just go through. Uh, if you want to find all these new team of the year nominee cards, all the, by the way, on Footbin, you can go up here to the top left, go drop down to players and do new FIFA 20 players. It'll take you to this page. Just scroll down to the bottom and talk about or and look at these cards right here. Uh, but there's plenty of cards in here that with their gold cards out of packs, I think could be very good investments for this week. Uh, Marco Royce is an interesting one in my opinion because he was in this week's team of the week. But he's, this card's going to be going into packs on uh, today, Wednesday. So his gold card's going to be out of packs again. We're getting a team, a player of the month, Timo Werner SBC. Should be very soon. This card is 77K. A direct link investment to that Timo Werner and he's out of packs. If that SBC comes today, this could be a, a look before 6 p.m. UK on Wednesday. If you want to try to see if that, you know, maybe a little bit of a link investment to Werner. I thought Werner was going to come out today and he didn't. I was a little surprised by that, but I guess maybe EA didn't want to um, drop so many strikers in the game at once. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but yeah, if you're looking through these cards and looking for ones that you tr might want to flip for weekend league, right? Look for ones that have a decent price difference between their gold card and between the nominee. Uh, Firmino's nominee card is 88,000 coins. His regular card is 23k. If you're looking at a really low budget, I mean, this Firmino gold card might be something that you could look at. He's Brazilian, of course. I mean, he was 20. He's actually up a little bit. Um, 21k. Now he's up to 24. So, I mean, that's not really at a point in FIFA where a lot of people are using a card like that. But uh, of course, the Sterling, the Ramos, and those guys that are out of packs that are like really quality weekend league tier guys, I think those are going to be really good shouts this week. Um, maybe even a guy like Conte as well. I'm a little bit curious to see what happens with a guy like him because he is down a ton, right? He's like 270? Never mind. Right around 280. Wow, on bids around 270 though. So 
This guy has gotten pushed down a lot in price. His team of the year nominee card, I think right now is on the market for around 400K, 380, 390. And maybe you see that team of the year nominee drop down to, um, you know, somewhere like 375, maybe even 350, or maybe even like 340, 350 after weekend league rewards. But there's a lot of people that might go for that card, but this card going up to 300K, I don't think it's out of question. I mean, he's like the best center defensive mid, all around midfielder in the Prem, uh, and everybody wants to use this card. So even people that have lost coins, because if you think about it this way, another reason why I like the low market this week and the lower tier kinds of cards, maybe like an inform Theo Hernandez as well. This is a guy that I usually flip on Thursdays. Another reason why I like this ed edge of the market this week is because um, there are a lot of people that have lost coins in the last two weeks. I mean, icons are down big time. Uh, a lot of upper tier, a lot of really meta players are down big time. Even road of the final cards, people are losing coins on. It's just the whole market has turned downward in that direction. Uh, and that just makes me think, okay, people might have some less coins or they're scared of what's gonna happen to the market. So they might try to buy some safer things for their teams this weekend. That's what, again, why I like some of the um, lower edge, lower budget investments this week or Thursday flipping. Now, the last thing I wanna talk about is link investing to these Footmas SBCs. Of course, we're getting two SBCs per day uh, and objectives as well. Cavani today was a good, like today's SBCs were probably the best two, in my opinion, the whole Footmas promo. This is day number five. I think these are the best two SBCs that we've gotten so far. A lot of people did an Aki Williams. You saw me looking at that Saul inform. Saul is up like 5K from where he was earlier. I bought a, a couple when this SBC came out because people are linking him to Anaki Williams somehow. I mean, there's a lot of people that will change Inaki Williams to a center mid, link him up with um, Saul, and then link it to maybe like a Jordi Alba or maybe a Semedo again, or maybe the um, like a Trippier or like La Liga. You know, the Spanish guys are trying to get their links in there uh, in those teams. So um, I do think that Spanish investments, the La Liga investments look good because a lot of people did this card today. Uh, a decent value striker. Pretty solid upgrade. Uh, I also think that a lot of people did Rashford and that SBC is no longer out, but I do think a lot of people ended up doing that SBC just because of the market movements that I saw on the game in terms of um, not really like Sterling moving and like link investments to that card. But the the amount that I saw like 86s and 85s rise up um, on that day, not really much of the 86 price increase was really attributed to that um, Colombian center back that we got, Murillo. I mean, Murillo had an 83 or 84 rated squad, I think is all that it took. So when I was looking in the solutions, there weren't any 86s in the Murillo solutions. So that kind of tells me that people did Sterling this week. And I know that I saw some people hyping up Sterling. I, I watched a couple player reviews. People said that he was pretty solid and he's English, he's Manchester United. So there's gonna be people on this game that are gonna do that SBC. And Sterling, I think is a great, great investment to that card again whatever footmas sbcs we get today um on wednesday if they're good value if a lot of people are doing them you got to remember and think okay people are probably getting this card in their team there could be a link investment opportunity to these cards right here so again things to look for this week in terms of weekend league flipping focus on that 50k to 200,000 coin price range and the chemistry styles as well. Chemistry styles are going to be huge. They're going to be massive. Very important for you to um, make the most out of your investments this week for Thursday flipping. Icons as well. If you want to mess around with some icons, if you're on a higher budget, I mean, again, make sure it's a very meta card. Again, Road to the Finals are kind of low as well. Militao is like 550k right now after the the um, the draw came out for who they're going to be facing in the knockout round. So if you want to mess around with some road to the final cards as well, you could just make sure that again, really meta, really usable, maybe an Allen you could try to flip. I know it's kind of on the upper tier of our budget, but that is that is a card that got an upgrade and it's uh, links in that little triangle that we talked about with Cool Bali and with um, Malquit and an Allen. So again, look around the market, man. The best advice I can give you is on Wednesday nights, if, or even Wednesday at 6 p.m. UK, if you see a huge dip in the market, look around on Team of the Weeks and past, past special teams and think about, okay, what kind of cards are meta? What kind of cards do people use in their weekend league teams? This Mares card is a perfect example of a meta card, 64K. This one's 182, the 86 is at 49. So this card being at 64K, he was at 61 on Sunday, you can see. If I see this card down at 60K again, 
Um, I, I think that might be a possibility. Last week, he went from 77K in packs, went up to 92,000 coins, and then kind of came back down. So this guy at 61K right now, he could very easily be 80K or upper 70s um, after Thursday rewards because it's a right wing in the prem. He's probably dropped down a little bit because of the price of uh, Sterling, but is it in for him? He's out of packs. He's a special card, and people like the dynamic images in their squads in FIFA. So again, just scroll through the list of Team of the Weeks and past, past special cards. Find the ones that people like to have in their teams a lot and use a lot in this game. Basically, think about the squads you see in Weekend League, right? Because the squads that you see are the cards that people are going to be using and buying for Weekend League rewards. So the cards that you see often in Weekend Leagues uh, are the cards you might want to invest in, right? Kind of makes sense uh, when you think about it in that way so again these cards are going to be in packs there's going to be a lot of talk about them they're probably going to drop in price a little bit um i'd be very careful with those just i still have a bad taste in my mouth from when we invested in team of the group stage last week i bought some cool bollies and then of course the next day they come out with the team of the year nominees which crashes the market again on friday we're going to have prime icons and a lot of stuff around that so Again, I think it the 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 best thing to do with these is just wait on them and see what happens uh, until they go out of packs after Thursday rewards. If you enjoyed this video and you think it's going to help you out, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.